All right, after much frustration and consternation because of lack of information out there on these stupid Chinese tractors, this is a Fusion Photon Louisville brand, whatever the hell it is. They'll rename it again here in a few years, I'm sure, because the quality sucks and they're trying to maintain their name. But anyway, I'm doing the clutch adjustment. And this is a two-stage clutch. It has one clutch for the PTO, one for the gearbox. And so this is a side plate off the tractor. I think you can access it on the other side by removing a plate for the steering. Uh, also, if you have a front end loader, it probably mounts right in here too. This side just has a little panel here. So you can access these adjustments. And unfortunately on these tractors, uh, things wear out pretty quick and they have to be adjusted often. There'll be three, sorry, I'm trying to get a light in there to, so you, can, you guys can see relatively well what I'm talking about. Anyway, this is the clutch adjustment here. There'll be three of these. Let me see if I can get a pointer in there. Now the light will suck, but uh, you'll loosen this guy here loosen that get that nut there and then you can tighten this thing or loosen this thing on my tractor this happens you know it, it's threaded but it's squared off so you can get a wrench on it this is like an eight millimeter and you'll be doing a lot of shaving down your wrenches and cutting wrenches so you can actually get in there and do it but that will adjust this arm here which you can uh, reach in there and you can even get a feeler gauge in there hard to do you'll never be able to see it on this camera so i'm sorry but it'll adjust this lever here which reaches into the release which uh you know this is what the release bearing touches and actuates the clutch so this is your clutch adjustment now my manual shows that the i think it said 2.5 millimeters I converted it. It ended up being right at about a hundred thousandths of an inch between the release bearing and the arm of this uh, release fork, I guess you call it. I don't know. I might have the names wrong. But loosen this nut. Sorry, this is really tough to see. Uh, loosen this nut and then turn this squared off screw to adjust the arm. And then to really to uh, adjust your, and like I said, there's going to be three of these, 120 degrees apart. But between those, there's another adjustment for your PTO. So I'm going to try and turn this around. I'm going to set this phone down while I while I force this around here. So I'll turn it 60 degrees. Don't worry, the phone's coming back up. So turn it 60 degrees, and now I'm at one of these uh, PTO clutch adjustments. Now on this one, you'll loosen this lock nut here, and then you can turn this in uh, to bring the fork closer to the release bearing. Sometimes this whole bolt will move. You'll have to get a little bitty pair of vice grips on here if this bolt is moving while you turn this adjustment nut in. And then you retighten your lock nut when you're done. Uh, I'm not able to reach in there with a feeler gauge, so unfortunately, I just have to estimate it with my... Uh, I can reach in there with my finger and feel the clearance between this fork and the clutch bearing inside. So, uh, if other guys are cr more creative, you might be able to get a feeler gauge in there. Cannot find a spec for that clearance anywhere. But I can tell you, my, uh, my uh, PTO was not releasing, uh, cl clutch was not releasing, and it was grinding, all that garbage. And I couldn't uh, engage the PTO with a tractor running, and you can't start it with the PTO engaged. The starter doesn't have enough power. So uh, adjust this for the PTO, and there's three of these as well, 120 degrees apart. And uh, if you know the specs on this, please tell me, put it in the comments, and then everybody will benefit. 
Sorry for the, the poor footage, but this is the best I can do with the situation I got. Unfortunately, nobody posts this anywhere for these tractors, but this is how you adjust the, the PTO and adjust the standard transmission type clutch. Hope you got something out of this. Uh, please subscribe, like, all that garbage. Thanks for watching. Let's, uh, I'll make another video when something else breaks on this turd.